This is breaking news on Morning Blend. And that breaking news out of Natomas this morning as we come on the air at 5 o'clock. A fire has destroyed new homes that were under construction on East Commerce Way. People living in the area had to evacuate, and we are live at the scene. Thank you so much for joining us here on Morning Blend. I'm Bria Love. And I'm Walt Gray. ABC 10's Monica Coleman is standing by at the scene and a large firefighting response. Yeah, Monica, what are firefighters saying about the damage? Good morning. About eight structures were affected by this fire and it was huge. It was so hot that even the windows across the street from this fire are melted due to that heat. And I spoke to one of the residents. Her name is Sabrina. She had to evacuate this morning and she's also here to talk with us about what she saw. What did you experience? Well, it was horrific. <laughs> I sat down to eat around 12, 15, 12, 20, you know, just to eat something. And I heard all this noise and I thought it was raining. And when I looked out the window, it was actually ambers hitting the roof and the trees. And then I just saw this bright orange and I realized, OK, something's on fire here. And I'm thinking first fireworks. And then when I, I just ran out to see and all you could see was bright orange, it, it just lit up the sky. I ran across the bam on the door from my neighbor and the firefighters at that point told us we had to we had to evacuate. They, they just pushed us back. I was scared. I was like, oh, my gosh, I cannot believe. We have video, this structure, I mean, it was hot. You could feel it on the other side of the building. It was so hot. I've just, I've never been that close to a fire that large, that quick. And we were just outside talking around 11, 15, 11, 30, and it was all quiet. So I am not sure what happened, but whatever happened, it happened quick. It happened really, really quick. And fire crews are telling us that the wind blew and it crossed this road here oh, yeah. and it caught onto the grass. Can you tell me about that? Well, I didn't see that part because like I said, from my balcony window, I could see the ambers. Now I did see the palm trees here catch on fire, but it wasn't until the firefighters told me that, yes, the ambers were jumping over there. So they were trying to put the fire out over on that part as well. Cause we had up to, I think about seven fire trucks at one time. Yeah, it was lit up over here like a Christmas tree. Yeah. And I heard you say you were scared. Talk to me about the fear of early in the night, this happening. Oh, I mean, it's kind of hard to put into words because this is my second disaster. The first disaster was a flood in 2009 in Atlanta. Most people don't go through any disasters and this is the second one. And it's, that's the part that scared me because I thought I would be prepared for the next thing to happen, but it happened so quick. That's the part that scared me. And I was worried more about my neighbor and everybody else. Uh, we were helping, we had other people knocking on doors trying to get everybody out and back to the back of the complex because we were stuck. There was no out. You know, even if you got in your car, you had to go to the back of the complex. So, so talk to me about that evacuation. There was no evacuation. It was just a plan. This was all full of fire trucks. So there was no way out. This was burning, this was burning. Only way you could go was there, which now it brings up the question, if everybody had to evacuate this complex at one time, how would we all get out? That, I think that's a problem. And we're gonna talk about that more in the next half hour. Thank you, Sabrina, for that, the descriptive perspective. Thank you. We're gonna go ahead and send it back to you, Walt and Bria. This fire is starting to get mopped up now, but residents having to evacuate, windows are melted due to how hot this fire was. Back to you. Yeah, big fire in Natomas this morning. Just hearing that she heard embers, she thought it was rain, and then she woke up and was told she had to evacuate. Definitely a scary start to the morning. Monica, we'll talk to you soon.